Well, it is June 2nd, 2020. It's a beautiful day out here. I thought I'd, uh, hope you can hear this okay because I know the wind's blowing. Uh, for those of you guys who do not know me, my name is Jameson Sharp. I come to Doc and, uh, thought I'd fire off a video real quick because it is primary day, especially in Pennsylvania. All right. And a good friend of mine is running for Congress up there in the 8th District. And his name is Staff Sergeant Earl Granville. Yes, Earl Granville. Now, I have the pleasure of being on Earl's leadership team uh, for his race for Congress. It's a complete honor to be able to help, give, facilitate, and just give our all to help our veteran brother get over the finish line and be victorious in his campaign. And you know, if you've ever heard of his story, it's just truly inspirational and tragic at the same time. Because but Staff Sergeant Earl Granville is an amputee. He lost his left leg above the knee and had it amputated. He was in a roadside bomb in Afghanistan. And then his brother Joe, Staff Sergeant Joe Granville, took his own life on active duty. Very tragic. Trusting. Anyways, so I've heard of Earl, but, you know, looking at him for a long time making sure he's good to go watching this race and everything but a major general actually connected us and uh reached out to earl and good friend leo said hey you need, you need to maybe talk to this guy maybe maybe you can help but sure enough here i am i'm helping out two thousand miles away but hopefully it's enough what i've been able to do i've been able to facilitate uh communications with uh, veteran service members serving in Congress as congressmen. Um, many other things like doing some fundraising and going out and meeting my local congressmen and trying to facilitate meets and greets and um, you know phone calls and all that and all kinds of things I've been trying to do and it's working. It's working. Working hard. Working hard for the cause. Why not, right? And I gotta say this, it's a complete honor to be a part of Earl Granville's leadership circle for his campaign, his congressional campaign. And it's a two horse race right now as we speak. So hopefully our efforts are enough to push him over the line to be victorious in Carbondale, Scranton, and Pennsylvania's 8th Congressional District in Pennsylvania, Northeastern Pennsylvania. So I can't wait for those things to come out. So it's been an honor to be a part of his campaign to help out. And we will find out real soon where that leads. And, uh, you know, I'm happy to report that he voted today. That uh, people, the people, the, the response out there has just been overwhelming. And it's incredible. I really think he has a chance here. Now, I don't know the final numbers or anything. We'll get that later tonight. But they've been texting me saying, Doc, we're doing great. We shall see. We shall see. I think we're going to do real well. I think Earl's going to be victorious. I really do. If not, well, I guess it won't matter much anyways. Anyways, yeah, I appreciate you guys. I just want to make a quick video. You know. Even though I'm 2,000 miles away, it didn't mean I couldn't help. Got a lot of value to give. And I, I really feel privileged. I'm able to be connected with an American uh, insp inspiration and hero like him. He's just incredible. He makes me feel like I'm slacking sometimes if I don't put in the extra effort. Yeah. So, anyways, that's it. I'm going to make a quick video. It is primary day up there. Stacy Garrity um, is running for uh, Pennsylvania uh, aud uh, the auditor's office, Pennsylvania auditor. So that's like the chief um, financial person. And uh, she's veteran in Iraq. So, And by the way, Major General uh, John Gronsky, Earl Granville, Leo Russo, Stacy Garrity all served in the Pennsylvania National Guard, all served together in Iraq. And you know what? We got shared history. And it was pretty cool. Major General reached out to him and said, Hey, I want to connect you with this guy. Kind of wild, right? It is. You never know. I mean, 
the veteran community is just really wonderful. It truly is. And I'll do anything in the world, even if it means volunteering, doing some fundraising, do what I can. Hell, can't even take care of myself sometimes. But I make sure I uh, step up to the plate when uh, I get the call. Hey, so anyways, I help out from these Republican campaigns quite a bit. Because of my experience, I'm able to facilitate certain things and uh, arrange certain things and use my network of contacts and individuals who could help pitch in for the greater good. And uh, just feel blessed that I could be able to do this for them. And I think we're going to be seeing a victory party tonight, which would be awesome. Let me say so I've got. appreciate you guys. Uh, happy primary day to all you guys. Um, wish you guys the best. And like I always say at the end of my videos, good night and good luck. Check it later.